Imagine if a Shailen monk started studying in an ordinary school. What would be the condition of the rest of the children? Something like this happens in our today's story recap. The story begins with a boy named Lee, who used to learn Kung Fu in a Shailen temple. He was taking training here since birth. One day Lee went to the temple of the Shailen master and apologized, because what he is going to do now may not be right. At the same time, a warrior attacked him from the side. Lee was shocked by the sudden attack and he fought back. The warrior threw him on the wall, but Lee jumped and came back. He attacked the warrior's chest in the air and defeated him in a few moments. After this, it was the turn of a swordsman. Lee also defeated him with his ability. After this, he moved towards the third warrior. Although the warrior was sitting in meditation, but still hearing the footstep of Lee, he threw his garland in the mirror which blinded Lee's eyes. In the next moment, he picked up Lee and threw him on the ground. The warrior was about to win, but Lee slipped and escaped, then a fierce fight started between them. In the end, Lee won. Then he bowed his head in the temple and went out. The teacher of the temple told him that he has shown the most talent in the exam, so he will get a chance to go to the new school in the city. He will live with a family of three person in the city, in which two children and one is his father. That man is actually a scientist who knew the teacher of the temple. After this, Lee left for the new city. In the new school, there was a 15-year-old boy named Fang, who was a Taekwondo player. His younger sister Shan Shan loved her brother very much. Wan used to take care of the school's Taekwondo club. She used to tell him his weakness by watching Fang's matches so that he could get better. Lan's brother was a number one foodie. He didn't think of anything without food all the time. The four of them were good friends and lived nearby. Actually, Lee was going to stay at Lan's house. His father Dr. Han was always work hard in the lab. His wife had passed away many years ago, so now he used to enjoy his work. He was preparing a special device on which the city goons were watching. Dr. Han called the children, but Lan was not happy because his father never came home. Dr. Han promised to come soon and asked him to open a gift that he had sent home. Actually, the device in that box was the same device that the goons wanted to steal. Then Lee knocked on the door and Lan brought him in. She took him to his room and the goons captured his father. Larry, the leader of the gang threatened Dr. Han, and asked him for the device. Dr. Han said that there is no such device. He said that he was working on AI technology so that his children can talk to their mother's voice robots. But Larry didn't believe him. He found out from the CCTV footage that the device had gone to Dr. Han's house. Then Larry's two accomplices went ahead and took the responsibility of stealing the device. Sloppy and Fist were very happy because this was their first mission after becoming goons. They changed their clothes from strange clothes and went outside Lan's house and stood up. One of them decided to go inside at night but then the other said that the children have to go to school. Then they will steal it in the day. Lee was learning new things about the city and the house. When Lee saw Lan watching the Taekwondo match, he also found this game interesting. When he sat in meditation at night because of the video game of Yu, they had an argument. But soon they started enjoying the video game together. When Lan opened the gift box in her room then a panda keychain came out of it. She didn't know that this panda is the pen drive, for which those goons have been running behind for a long time. When Lan pressed the button, the panda asked her to set the password. Then Lan said, what password? And unknowingly this password was set. Then when he turned on the panda, he found out that it has the voice of his mother's artificial intelligence. The next morning, Lee, Yu and Lan left for the first day of school. Those two goons saw the children going out and decided to execute their plan. But then one of them saw the panda keychain which Lan had kept with her back. Now they made a plan to snatch the device from Lan. On the way, Lan introduced Lee to Fang. At the same time, the goon quietly stole the keychain and ran away from there. Then Lee saw him and showing his speed, he caught the goon quickly. Then Fang also came to support him and the two of them beat the goon a lot. But the goon still didn't agree and once again stole the panda and ran away. This time, all those friends put him in a trash can and drove him off the road. Then in school, Lee's classmates were surprised to see a Shailen warrior. They started asking him if he could ever get married. They started asking him lots of questions like can you ever get married, show me kung fu please etc. Then finally, the teacher calmed everyone down and told him to do all this in the period of playing. In the period of playing, their coach told them that next month they would be tested for fitness. And whoever does not pass in this, cannot go to the next class. As soon as he heard this, Yu's condition became bad because he was very fat. God knows how difficult it was for him to walk. Then the coach command everyone for run 100 meters. Lee completed two rounds before time, while the rest of the kids were still in the first round. After this, he was asked to do push-ups, in which Lee was already an expert. He did more than 100 push-ups and less than two from the rest of the kids. Later, he started doing push-ups with one hand. 
Seeing his ability, all the kids started jumping. Then it was time to jump high. This was Lee's left-handed game. Poor Yu fell down with his face. On the other side in Dr. Han's lab, Larry had tied him with a chair, and they were hitting him with golf bat for the device. At night, the two goons saw the opportunity and entered Lan's house. Then Lee's eyes fell on them and he hid behind a toy and started scaring them. But they saw him and attacked him. When Lan reached there, the goons stole the panda and ran away. Lee told Lan and Yu the whole story, but they thought he was kidding. After this, we see that the two goons were lying with golf balls in their mouths. Actually, they had stolen a perfume that looked exactly like the panda keychain. Larry has to sell the special device to a company in three days, and that's why he started getting restless. In a fit of anger, he aimed at the golf balls of the two goons, and threatened them and ordered them to bring that special device as soon as possible. The next day, all the kids were watching Feng's Taekwondo competition, while Yu and Shan Shan started talking about two ugly girls sitting behind. These girls were none other than the two goons who came there in disguise. They saw the panda on Lan's bag and both started waiting for the right time to steal it. At the same time, Lee challenged Feng to a competition. To watch this fun competition, all the kids ran ahead. Now the goons saw the right opportunity and tried to steal the panda from the bag. But in the process, their fake hair got stuck there. There was a fierce clash between Fang and Lee in the competition. Both were hitting each other. Finally, the two decided not to kill each other and the competition ended. At the same time, everyone turned around and recognized the two goons. The kids attacked them together, but this time they threatened to kill a girl and ran away with the panda device. Then the kids went to the principal and called the police to explain the whole matter. At the same time, Lee thought he was responsible for all this, because if he hadn't challenged Feng, Lan wouldn't have gone away from his bag. But the rest of the kids reassured him that he shouldn't think like that. Finally, Larry got the device and he ran a program on the computer through it. But he didn't know that he needed a password to use it. He called some programmers to open the lock. But nothing happened throughout the day. Now Larry's anger had crossed all limits. Then he saw his daughter's message on Dr. Han's phone. Lan wanted her father to come home for her birthday tomorrow. Larry promised his Dr. Han to reach the party tomorrow. The next day, Lan and her friends were preparing for the birthday party. The rest of them left Lan alone at home and went to get gifts for her. Then Lan got a message from her father that he had come out of the house. But as soon as she came out, someone kidnapped her and put her in the car and took her away. At the same time, Lee and his friends saw Lan in the van and started following her with their bicycles. Finally, everyone reached Dr. Han's lab and started looking for Lan. There was an argument between Larry and his business partner, because Larry was going to sell that special device tomorrow, but he didn't know the password yet. Now Larry got angry and put a knife around Lan's neck and started asking her the password. Lan replied, what password? And at the same time, the program started. The two goons outside were guarding the den. Lee and Fang attacked them and killed them in a matter of seconds. But after that, they faced Larry's man Bradley. He was also a dangerous fighter, so Lee and Fang were unable to defeat him. Larry's deal was about to be finalized in the lab. At that time, Yu came and released his sister and father quietly. Lee also went there and fought the goons. At the same time, Larry ran out with a pen drive bag. But Dr. Han, Yu and Lan beat him up. Lee once again came to support Fang in his fight with Bradley. Finally, the two of them managed to defeat him. In the end, the police also reached there and caught all the goons. Later, Lee and Yu were awarded a medal for their bravery. If you liked the video, like it and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next recap.